to have a 10-acre park in the middle of downtown LA. In an area that desperately needs new parks, in an area that is probably one of the most densely populated areas west of the Mississippi, we saw the real need to build this park. Vista Hermosa Natural Park, whose name in Spanish translates to beautiful view, is the first new public park to open in this area since 1895. Giving residents a chance to breathe, relax, and play. Vista Hermosa Natural Park, initiated by the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy and the Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority, MRCA, is specifically designed to return the serenity and diversity of nature to the Los Angeles urban core. Our mission is to bring in nature to the city. People needed more green space in downtown. There hasn't been a park here in over a hundred years. The community was promised housing, or promised a school, and neither occurred. Political will was lined up for the development of Vista Hermosa at all levels of government. It was led by former LAUSD school board president, now Los Angeles City Councilman, District 14, Jose Huizar, and his chief of staff, Monica Garcia, now LAUSD Board of Education president. Council member Ed Reyes, former California State Assembly member Jackie Goldberg, former Senator Gil Cedillo, Congressman Javier Vicera, Los Angeles County Board of Supervisor Gloria Molina, now Senator Kevin DeLeon, and Mayor Antonio Villaragosa. I was a member of the Board of Education uh, when the idea came up to build this park. The school district approached Joseph Edmondson of the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy and Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority to turn the park into a reality. I had the honor of working with individuals who were very focused on making something good happen. And I'd say within weeks, we were having a press conference announcing this arrangement. So May 22nd, 2003 is when LAUSD adopted the option of building a school and a park on 10 acres of the site. The process we took has always been a community process. If you want to create ownership um, to, these, to these spaces and pride that it's their spaces, you really got to include them in the planning process. Una comunidad sin parque sería una comunidad triste, eh, vacía, en la forma de que no habría niños jugando sanamente. The community said we want open space where our children can play safely where we can come together and enjoy nature. Most people in this community don't have backyards, or even front yards for that matter. So this type of open space is, is a safe, welcoming environment so people can come out here and, and get to know their neighbors, get to know each other, and really enjoy their day. The design that we see here now was a result of a long community process where the community was able to give their input. Work began in late 2006 on the park component. Vista Hermosa Park officially opened and was inaugurated on July 19, 2008. The 10 and a half acre site is located on the edge of downtown at 1st Street and Toluca Street in City West and is designed as a series of split level terraces. This creates a mountain watershed experience and provides spectacular views of the downtown Los Angeles skyline that hangs like a backdrop in the distance. In Los Angeles you have about 31.7 acres uh, per 1,000 residents. In the urban core you have about 1.7 acres, and in Latino neighborhoods, you have about 0.6. Our poverty levels are at 40%. So that means a family of four is surviving on 21,000 a year. So when you look at year-round schools, the presence of gangs, this park became an incredible source of relief for the local community. The Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority uh, has a commitment to the community of here of Vista Hermosa Natural Park uh, to introduce this new style of park to this area. The park is designed with sustainable elements to not only have environmental benefits, but also educate park visitors about saving and recycling water, green roofs, permeable paving, rain detention, and localized drip irrigation. 
this park is a great sustainable example of what we can do and, and how we can incorporate the community and teach them about the different features the park has to offer. Pathways take visitors through some of the best native plant landscaping ever seen in any community park. Mugwort, sage, deer grass, coast live oaks and sycamores delight the senses, and rolling lawns inspire feelings of well-being and relaxation. It's a great place for a picnic or a stop after a long day in downtown. Neighborhood kids run and play, and dogs on leashes are always welcome. Every individual, regardless of who they are, regardless of where they come from, regardless of their color of their skin, regardless of the socioeconomic status, they deserve access to natural beauty. Vista Hermosa is everything that's good. The community was involved in the process and now they continue to be involved in, in using the park, attending the interpretive programs and really bonding with each other. The kids are out here playing. It's a safe place for everyone to come. Here they have an opportunity to share space. They begin to interface, they interact and they get to know each other. It's a welcoming place for community gatherings and family events and is definitely seen as a way to improve the quality of life of the surrounding neighborhoods. Families use the park. They walk here, they talk here, they meet here. Students congregate. This is just safe space in the community and that's beautiful. This park is used all the time. Me gusta mucho la vista del parque hacia el centro. Todo a sus alrededores está muy verde, muy bonito. In 2009, Vista Hermosa Natural Park was the grand prize winner of the 39th Annual Architectural Award presented by the Los Angeles Business Council. An outdoor amphitheater built into a grotto provides an ideal setting for environmental and natural history education and other public events. Interpretive programs for community and youth are led by MRCA naturalists. The kids in the community come to the park and we provide interpretive programming with the naturalists and rangers and we incorporate leadership skills and team building aspects to it. So that way when they go back to school, hopefully they'll take that and share it with their neighborhood and community and families actually. Being good in school, getting good grades, uh, listening to your teachers. A FIFA regulation soccer field is managed by LA City Recreation and Parks. Teachers welcome the opportunity to go outside with the kids and sit on the grass, sit around the tables, and really just exchange ideas in a different environment. The commitment that the MRCA has uh, shown to the community by uh, having park rangers here, having naturalists, and continuing doing campfire programs here in the park, and maybe the first time that members of the community is the first time that they've uh, toasted a marshmallow on a, around a campfire. When people come here and learn with the uh, a park ranger or with a naturalist, uh, they get to learn a little bit of the native plants or the wildlife that may be in this area. The park also provides a gateway to the Santa Monica Mountains Parklands for families with the free Transit to Trails bus program. We encourage day trips. Uh, we have the community meet us here, meet a ranger, meet a park staff in the park, um, and we take them uh, free of charge out to the, uh, the Santa Monica and get them a little bit more of what the wild areas are. Urban families get to experience nature. We bring nature to urban families and then in turn around we bring urban families out to nature. So hop a bus, drive your car, take a lunch hour walk from downtown and enjoy a spot where the landscaping is lush, the staff welcoming and the views dramatic. Vista Hermosa Natural Park is here for everyone to enjoy. This is a good news story. We had many experts come in and give their two cents to really make it an amazing, life-changing experience. The most fascinating, most rewarding part is getting people to see why we need more natural parks. This park became an incredible source of relief for the local community. I'm most proud of the community because the community are the folks who brought us all together. It wasn't elected officials. It was a community who led we followed, we took note, and we said, we agree. We have to have open space in green parks. When the community comes together with elected officials, activists, advocates, it's dynamite. <laughs>